Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today you're gonna spend the morning with me. I've got, I have quite a few things that I like wanna update you guys on and I will like get you up to speed. I've been doing a really bad job at vlogging lately and I will explain why in just a second here. Um, first off, I woke up super crampy and bloated. Um, I have been getting my cycle like every two weeks. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is I've been getting my cycle like every two weeks, like ever since I missed a cycle like last fall. Anyways, I've been getting my cycle like every two weeks ever since I missed a cycle last fall. Sometimes I'll just like bloat and like nothing else. Um, and then sometimes I get the whole shebang. So anyway, it makes it really hard when you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to figure out like what you're waiting. Anyway, um, this morning I am, I decided to like chug a bunch of water to see if that would help. Um, what I like to do with my water is I like to put frozen strawberries, frozen pineapple, frozen mango in the bottom as my ice cubes in the beginning of the day and then I fill it up with water. And as it melts, it kind of turns into this fruit water and usually around like three o'clock it gets kind of gross so I dump it out. And then I have regular ice water, um, but my goal is to like have like this whole thing's worth of water during the day. So it has like the super cheesy sayings on there. Like, good morning, hydrate yourself, remember? Oh, almost done. And then I'm having an iced coffee with nothing in it, just plain iced coffee. I'm intermittent fasting and I'm trying to lose the rest of this weight. So, okay, I'm gonna get Raker out of his high chair because he's throwing a tantrum, so hold up. But, okay, so my Botox. Um, I get it. I'm fairly new to Botox, um, and if you guys aren't familiar with what it is, it literally just freezes parts of your face so that it doesn't wrinkle. That's all it does. It doesn't change the shape. It doesn't do anything crazy like that. Um, I get it in my forehead in these lines um, just to prevent wrinkling. And then same with right here. Now I'm, let's see, I'm on day... Wednesday, Thursday, I'm on day two. Yeah, it was 24 hours as of last night because I was finally able to work out. Um, you can't work out for like the first 24 hours after getting it, but I get like 13 units. I get like a few put in here and then the rest are put into here. Um, anyway, so I'm only on day two. It takes up to 14 days for it to take full effect. Um, but in 14 days, none of this will move. So you won't see this and you won't see this. My eyebrows still move, but my forehead and this area does not, and it's great. Um, I go to the same place that I get like my facials done. Um, I go to Rejuve over in Fargo-Moorhead. I love them. Um, they are a medical clinical spa um, or something like that. So that's where I get my Botox done. Um, and I also get like my skincare regimen. Um, a lot of their stuff is like prescription strength. I really want to share my morning routine with you guys in like depth. And I want to share that step-by-step -step skincare process. I have really been loving my new skincare setup and my skin has never looked so good. I, you, as you guys know, I've been kind of like working on it for the past. I've been working on my skincare for almost the past year now. As like once we hit June, once we hit June, we hit my one year anniversary since quitting my job to do YouTube and pursue my side business full time. And one year since I stopped wearing foundation and powder. That is insane. Okay, so anyways, Mike called me when I was like in the middle of explaining all of that, but I've been feeling super good um, in regards to like my skincare stuff. It feels, for the first time in a very long time, it feels amazing to like be taking care of myself and really putting myself up there on the priority list as far as working out and losing the weight and dieting and my skincare and just like gen generally like taking better care of me and my body and my supplements and all of the things. So I guess you could call today's video a little bit of a take care of mommy video because I think that it's super important for us and our mental health a better, we, it makes us better moms and it gives us the confidence to go out there 
and do what we need to do and it gives us the health to go out there and do what we need to do. So anyways, I'm going to run Kaya to preschool here really quick and then when I get back home, I'm going to run through some of my most favorite like take care of me things such, such as my like skincare products. I'm gonna share that with you guys um, and I will share like how I use them in a morning routine and I'm going to show you guys my supplements again. I have shared them with you a million times and then I'm also going to show you guys like and my calories and things like that in addition to like my workout, okay? So anyways, all right, I'm going to run Kaya to preschool here really quick and I will be back. Okay, I just got back from dropping Kaya off. Um, it is beautiful outside today. It has been like in the 40s and 50s this week in Minnesota versus like two weeks ago it was negative 40 with wind chills. So I'm outside again. It's gorgeous, it's sunny, it's beautiful. I should really open my window actually. <laughs> Most favorite things to do in the springtime after a really long cold winter is I like to open up my windows. Oh my gosh, Koda, you don't need to be like wedged between me and the cupboards. It's very clingy. Um, I like to open up all my windows and like let all of the stale air like just go out, like leave. And then I like to run my, um, my diffuser, my essential oil diffuser with like clear the air essential oil. That is like one of my staples I get them on Amazon I should actually include them in like an Amazon favorite video because they are super awesome and super affordable um, okay so for supplements I've showed you guys this before but again I'm just gonna go over it really quick um, in hopes that it could maybe help somebody else who suffers like with UTIs or you're just trying to like better your overall general health um, I take this D manos I take green tea extract Cranberry pills, yes, I know d mantles and cranberry, it's like doubling on it, but I take that. I take a probiotic every day, um, and this actually is supposed to help with UTIs and like keep, it's like aimed for women, okay? So it keeps like all the good natural flora in there. Um, and then I've got turmeric curcumin with piperin. Um, this helps to like, it's supposed to help like flush and cleanse your biofilm inside of your kidneys and in your bladder um, and the piperin just helps it um, to be a little bit more bioavailable um, for your cells and like your body to actually absorb so um, the turmeric for your body to actually absorb the turmeric and curcumin that's what the piperin helps to do it's honestly it's just black pepper you want your gummy yeah these are Riker's gummy yeah did you go to Greta's yet did you go to daycare yesterday and now your sister's going? Yeah, there you go. Um, and then I also take potassium. Um, I've been taking potassium for a couple years now. I, I always order it in the two pack um, because it's actually really hard to get potassium in your diet. I'm not gonna go like super into like all of like the side effects and stuff, but um, potassium deficiencies, look it up. And I also take magnesium calm. Now I have this every night. Um, before you go to bed because magnesium deficiency can also cause like a wide range of issues and I mean a wide range so it could be like depression anxiety um, it could be like leg cramps and um, fatigue and like just all of this crazy stuff so um, I take this every single day I started with one teaspoon worked up to two teaspoons you want some water okay I've also been taking these hair skin and nail gummies <laughs> because the other day I went to Sam's Club, the other day, it was probably like two weeks ago now, I went to Sam's Club and Mike that morning was like, I, my hair is thinning. So I said, okay, I'll get you some hair vitamins. So I picked these up and I've just been using them as well. Um, there are carbs in here though, so I have to be careful because there's like two grams of sugar per two of these. Um, and then I also take my multivitamins from Persona Nutrition in the morning. And I've only been taking like the multis out of there. I do love that they like combine um, a bunch of different like vitamins and supplements for, for you, like personally for you. Um, but I'm on such a different regimen right now with my like UTI prevention and health and things like that. So anyways, I really hope that that regimen can help one of you guys out. Um, a lot of what I take is solely to help my body um, avoid UTIs and like kidney infections and things like that because those are not fun, no good. 
I will leave everything linked down below for you guys if you want to snag any of those vitamins or supplements for yourself. Um, and now I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you my skincare stuff in this take care of mommy video. <laughs> All right, would it be a take care of mommy video if I didn't have some coffee? Okay, so also another video that I'm working on today, actually I'm working on several, it's gonna be amazing today. Um, but the cleaning video, I'm like organizing and decluttering and I always wanna like do meal prep for you guys. And then I end up eating the most simple things ever where I'm like, why would they ever want to see that? So for example, sometimes for lunch when I'm on my keto diet, I honestly will just have like a couple slices of deli turkey and a pickle and why does the inside of my ear look so weird? Anyway, yeah, okay. But very like boring things and then I have like an iced coffee that has nothing in it. Just like not interesting things, but I'm so busy filming and like doing all these other things and trying to be a mom, right, it's hard for me to like actually prepare myself a meal and then um if i do have a, an actual meal it's been an evolve meal lately which again if you guys want to order evolve because it's like been a lifesaver for me i'll leave them linked down below for you use my code for 15 percent off i swear by them i swear by them that a lot of my weight has been lost because i've been able to have easy microwavable meals anywho so um that's why I haven't been doing like a ton of meal prep. But the videos that I'm doing today are like just getting it all done. We are traveling um, here in the upcoming weeks and I just want to make sure that the house is clean. We've got dog sitters arranged. Um, we're going to visit my sister this weekend. So we just have like a ton of things going on. What'd you find, buddy? Starting with my first skincare item. <laughs> I've got Raker in the background. Um, my, okay, so let's go through actually. All right, so I follow a very like, like detailed step-by-step -step, like skincare routine and I will show you guys in a morning routine video how I do this. Um, but I just wanted to share the products with you guys because I've been oh, loving yeah! it so much. You think so? Um, so here's my routine that my um, esthetician from Rejuve gave me. Now, in the morning, I cleanse, I use a an HQ pad. I don't know what that stands for, Skin Tone Enhancement Therapy. It's like hydroquinone. Hmm. I don't know what it's called, but HQ pads, I use them <clears throat> after I cleanse in the morning and after I cleanse at night. Um, these are expensive, so I was going to ask her if I could switch to just once a day. Um, what this essentially does is it stops your skin from producing pigment. There are other ways to do this, like with like um, like treatments and things like that, like in the clinic. Um, but my um, my esthetician, my facial gal like swears by these and she has like melasma or whatever it's called from her pregnancies and absolutely loves these. These are prescription strength. I had to sign for a prescription. So I would highly recommend going somewhere locally to you. Again, I go to Rejuve and Fargo Moorhead if you guys are local to me. Um, and again, this is not sponsored. That's just where I prefer to go for all of my face and like skincare things. Um, Anyway, so I use this HQ pad, stops the pigment. Um, I just have a little bit of like pigmentation coming through. Um, and then like my freckles, it'll just kind of, in some areas where I don't want the freckles necessarily, or like I have this like mole, um, it'll just, it'll help with the pigment. Um, and then after that, they recommend something called blue juice. Now I have a, t it is a product, it's a moisturizing product with hyaluronic acid in it and I want it so bad. But I, um, I just got a ton of skincare for Christmas. So I'm trying to use up the skincare that I have first because I have a ton of hyaluronic acid products and like moisturizers that I need to use up before I can just like go and buy another hyaluronic acid product. In fact, my like hydrating tint that I use um, also has hyaluronic acid in it. Just like everything has it in it. So blue juice or hyaluronic acid is what I use directly after my HQ. Now this is what I've been using. Um, I've been using, I was doing the Peter Thomas Roth um, hyaluronic acid like water mask thing. Now I've been doing the Laneige water sleeping mask. This 
I believe has hyaluronic acid in it. Do not quote me, but this is um, this is like the most luxurious, amazing stuff. I've repurchased this several times, and it is this like really like jelly consistency. It's more jelly than like the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, the Peter Thomas Roth, so it's like water moisture, or like moisture surge or something like that. I don't know. Um, it goes with, it's the water drench because this is the eye cream for it and have already used the face stuff. And that one didn't last me as long. I found the container looked just as big as the Laneige one, um, maybe even a little bigger, but it lasted me for two months versus the Laneige water sleeping mask usually lasts me anywhere from like three to five months. So I've been using this one for a couple of weeks now and I've barely, barely made a dent. Um, and then the product does go all the way to the bottom. So just because you ha it has a big container doesn't mean that there is a lot of product in it. So double check that before you purchase your skincare products because obviously you want to be getting like the biggest bang for your buck um, because they are expensive. So after I use um, like hyaluronic acid based things um, like a moisturizer, like a gel moisturizer or whatever, um, then in the morning I like to go in with a vitamin C serum. This is what I've been using. Um, the clinic that I go to does have their own as well, but I didn't want to just throw away all of my stuff that I currently have um, and replace them. So I've been slowly replacing things um, with like prescription grade products um, as I go. But I do really love this vitamin C serum. This one is from Amazon. I swear by it. I really think that a lot of my skin stuff, this has vitamin C, E, and hyaluronic acid. And I get it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, but I, I do swear by this. I, I feel like the reason why my skin has changed so much in the past year, I really attribute to this um, because this is one of the first products that I used to try and make a change to my skin um, in the summer last year. So I use this in the morning. Vitamin C should always be used in the morning. Um, and then at night, instead of the vitamin C, I will follow up with a retinol. So this is something that I really want to replace this month. Rejuve is having a sale actually um, on their retinols, like the retinoids, um, all the things. Um, they've got like a 20% off sale. So I want to replace this. But so this is the retinol, if I can get it to focus. I'm using the Ordinary Retinol. Um, some people love the Ordinary and some people hate it. I don't know if I love it or hate it. Um, I haven't been using the retinol for long enough um, to really know. So this bottle actually spilled, so it's like half gone. Um, but I've only been religiously using it for the past couple of weeks um, since I had my last facial because my wrinkles are starting to, to develop a little bit more now. Um, I will be 29 this year, which is like, bah, Mike will be 30, so. Anyway, um, I need to be proactive in my wrinkle prevention and keeping the collagen in my face nice and plump. Um, and then after that, after the retinol or the vitamin C serum, depending on what time of day it is, then I will always go in with my power cream. Um, this one is running low. This has, this one is from Rejuve. UPS is definitely here because my dogs are freaking out. Um, okay, so I need to refill on this soon. This is the Rejuve power cream. Um, this stuff is amazing. This is medical grade. I wonder if I can leave their um, website down below for you guys and you guys could like maybe check out their products and order them online. I'm not totally sure how that works, but um, this is like an antioxidant. Huh? Let me read it to you. It helps with redness. That's what I know that it helps with the redness in my cheeks and inflammation in my cheeks. Um, and they do like a skin scan on my face. It's crazy. So this is a triple antioxidant cream that helps to soothe the skin, reduce visible redness, and protect against free radical damage. Um, so yeah, it has a ton of really good stuff in it. But anyways, oh my goodness, okay. I need to deal with that, but that is basically what I do. Okay, so that is skincare. Now in the morning, there are two products that I reach for depending on um, like what I'm doing, okay? So instead of a foundation, I do not use a foundation anymore. 
Um, most of the time I will reach for this Neutrogena Hydro Boost, if I can get her to focus. Um, and this Neutrogena Hydro Boost, what I love the most about it is it's just a hydrating tint, um, and there's not a whole ton of pigmentation there. And it moisturizes and plumps the skin for 24 hours and has hyaluronic acid in it. I'm in the color Nude 40. Um, this stuff is awesome. It just feels like you're putting more moisturizer on your, on your face. Um, it just color corrects enough um, and gives you this really beautiful glow as you can see. I'm wearing it today. Um, and then over it, I do um, like to use some of this once in a while. This came in, like, I order the the sleeping kit from Laneige and this one came in the kit. I love this so much. Just like a super refreshing mist and it gives you like a, um, it gives you this glow, okay? A lot of the glow honestly is coming from this, but I do like that this gives you this beautiful glow, like not sweaty glow, but you're just, your skin will look amazing, trust me. Um, this face mist is a cream skin mist. Why does that sound so disgusting? It's a fine mist spray that provides immediate hydration for up to 24 hours with a subtle glow. Like literally what I just said. Anyway, so I'll wear that over it. Um, I, like to, I like to have like more of a natural makeup look. Now, if I'm like going out out um, and I wanna do a little bit of contour, I will not do this on the day today. This is just like my standard natural makeup look. I have my lashes done, I have my eyebrows microbladed, and then I just take care of my skin and I'm good and I'm on my way for the day. Now, I like to apply my hydrating tint. I found that it works best if you apply it with a beauty sponge. This one definitely needs to be cleaned out. This is just the Real Techniques one. You can use a beauty blender as well. But that is what works the best for me with that hydrating tint. Now, sometimes, especially in the summer when I'm looking for somewhat of a, like an SPF, you need to be wearing an SPF at all times, okay? Like even in the winter time. Um, but I like to use more of like a, like I have a spray. It's from Tarte um, and I just ran out of it a couple of weeks ago. So I do need to replace it. But um, instead of buying the same thing I always get, I decided to get the Dr. Jart, Jart, I don't want to say it like that because it sounds like something else. Uh, I get the um, the color correcting treatment. This is the Sika Pair. I have no idea. This is what it looks like. Um, this little guy is expensive. This thing is like 50 bucks. Um, and I got the bigger, this is the bigger um, container of it. But this is... A really weird like serum okay not serum. this is a really weird like mm, think of it like a magic SPF okay so this is a mineral sunscreen but it has color correcting properties to it. it says apply a moderate amount after moisturizer the formula will change from green to beige to help conceal the look of redness and to even out skin tone and the active ingredients are zinc and titanium now my esthetician always tells me if you're going to be using a an spf on your face make sure it's mineral based and make sure to look for zinc and titanium so this is a good one this is an spf 30 um and this is what it looks like on the inside and once you apply it to your skin i will show you guys that in a morning routine video it turns it like melts into your skin the same color as your skin. It's really bizarre. I recommend applying it with um, your fingers just so that it can really melt into the skin. Usually I wouldn't recommend putting like skincare products and or like your foundation on your face or whatever SPF on your face. But at the very end, I do like to just kind of like even everything out. So there's some schmears on my face. Um, but yeah, that is what I've been doing for my skincare. Every once in a while, I will use um, a this Glow Tonic by Pixie. This is also, oh my goodness, if it can focus. Okay, so this Glow Tonic by Pixie, you can find this at Target. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive as well. I can't remember. I can't remember if it was like twenty bucks. Anyway, it's a glycolic acid exfoliating toner. This is a chemical exfoliant. Um, I don't have breakouts a ton, but I do um, every once in a while. So I like to use this on my face when I'm having a breakout um, and just kind of exfoliate the extra fl the slough off, like the, uh, the extra crap. Um, a lot of times the reason why I break out is either because of hormones or because of um, like 
build up. So I just try to exfoliate and keep on top of that with this. Um, this little-ish bottle, there's an even smaller one, but this one will last you a while because you don't use it every day. Um, all right, and then another thing that I use for like acne, like spot treatment. So if I have a breakout, um, I've been using this since like high school, but I swear by this stuff, it's just the clean and clear. This is a salicylic acid acne treatment. Um, doesn't over dry your skin. I usually just get breakouts by my mouth. That's typically where I get them or like where I wear hats up here. Um, but this is what I use to clear those up really quick in combination with, um, with um, a toner. And then every once in a while at night, I will use this water drench hydrating eye gel. Um, I don't know where I, I stand or how I feel about um, under eye products yet. Um, trying to decide if they're just like a total scam <laughs> or what. Um, because I don't really feel like they make that big of a difference. But anyways, this is what I use when I feel like putting something under my eyes. Um, and it's this like really like bouncy jelly stuff. I don't know. It feels really great. I do really like the consistency of it. Um, and it like cools your under eye and it's mostly made out of hyaluronic acid. So that's good stuff. Um, and then I do use this Laneige sleeping mask all the time. I just, I just repurchased this. I literally use it every morning and every night. And I had the same size, this one, I had the same size for, I would say mm, over a year and a half. And it lasted me that entire time for morning and night. <clears throat> I know it's a sleeping mask, but these products are super amazing. These sleeping products are so amazing. Um, I just refilled on it and I expect this one to last me another year. So even though it's tiny, it um, packs. So anyways, let's go and see what the UPS guy brought me, huh? I think it's my Urban Outfitters, <laughs> my Urban Outfitters order. I ruined my favorite Nirvana shirt the other day when I was out in the garage. Um, okay, yeah, it looks about the same. Looks kind of crooked. Yeah, it definitely is. Whatever. Anyway, okay, so this is the Nirvana shirt <laughs> that I, I literally live in this thing, okay? I live in my Nirvana shirt. Um, it's actually a t shirt dress, but I work out in it. I wash it every other day because I wear it so much. Um, I also picked up a, I got a Death Leopard one. And I thought this would actually be like a really cute swimsuit cover too. This one is super, super long. And the Nirvana one is quite a bit shorter. So, yeah, you guys see that? Okay. Anyway, okay, so those are the shirts I got. Cheese. Here you go. Hey, thank you. One of my other go-tos um, at Urban is um, this, is it Cell Ocean? Cell Ocean like the worst pronunciation in the world, I'm sure. But I love this stuff. It's actually um, a little bit of a dupe for the Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. Um, I love that one. I love more like masculine scents or really like warm scents. And I also love Dolce Gabbana Light like Blue in the spring and summertime. This is an all year scent for me, the Cell Ocean. It smells like, yeah, it's, it's like a straight dupe for the wood sage and sea salt if you guys really like that joe malone scent um but yeah it's just like super mm, i love it i love it <laughs> it'd be great for a vacation it's great for on the beach um i this is a i just smell goob i smell very good all right i am going to leave you there for today because i kind of went through a ton of stuff so i have a lot of videos like this coming out where I'm going to be sharing like hauls with you um, and sharing like new products and things like that because I realized for a long time in my videos I wasn't sharing those things and I know a lot of you really like to know that um, because that's what I go to videos for is to see you know skincare routines and to see where people are getting their clothes and where they're how they're transitioning from skinny jeans to mom jeans and like all of those things and like how to take care of your like how, how to take care of yourself, like what supplements do people like typically use? I don't know, those are just like all the things that I go to videos for. So I have all the videos planned around like 
updating you guys on like clothing and just like all the random things coming up over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Um, I will have a clothing haul with the Urban Outfitter stuff. All of the things that are coming in, I have a couple of pairs of pants that should be coming in tomorrow. I'm going to finish up filming that one for you guys. I have a ton of swimsuits. As you guys know, I've lost 45 pounds since November 16th, so um, I just really needed an all new wardrobe because everything, even my leggings, are too big for me. So anyways, all right, you guys, I'm going to leave you there for today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video. Um, if you have any like skincare products that you swear by or any like take care of mommy things that you guys swear by, please leave it in the comments down below. Again, for like my workout stuff, I really like to go on my elliptical. I go for about 20 to 30 minutes at a 20 incline and then also a 15 to 16 resistance. And it is a major, major calorie burner. Are you getting mad because the puppy wants to eat your snack? Yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Alrighty, well that is going to wrap it up for this take care of mommy video. Yeah. Yeah, is that right, yeah. girl, mom? Yeah, yeah, who is that? All right, guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, which should be another day in the life. And then I do have that keto video finally coming for you. I've been talking about it forever. I just haven't been like, in love with the clips that I've been that I had recorded. I'm not in love with them. So I need to re-record a couple of things and make it just like nice and pretty. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, I will see you in a couple days. Okay, bye.